Good morning. So it's the day after the uh, the Champions League and unfortunately Liverpool didn't win. It was a really good game. Liverpool played amazing. Tons of shots on goal. Uh, outplayed Real Madrid. Uh, but Real Madrid scored the only goal of the game. So they win. It's okay. Not bitter. I'm very disappointed though. But it's okay. So today we're going to be looking at... Oh, can you see it? The tub filler. Uh, I have to put this in before we put the tub in. Uh, I've been watching videos. Uh, I've only done this. I've never done this. Obviously, this is my first time. So... Um, a little bit, uh, not really anxious, but, you know, because I hadn't done it before, I can't screw it up. So I've been watching sort of a bunch of YouTube videos. There's a couple on, online. So I thought I'd document the process and hopefully if it helps somebody else, that'd be great. So this is going to be the tub filler. Let's do this. So this is what I did. I actually cut the tile for this bracket. Um, some of the videos they left it in, they drilled. I didn't want to drill through the tile. I was, you know, I didn't have a drill bit and I didn't want to break it. But this subfloor is obviously three sheets of plywood, so it's plenty strong for this. But when I went to put this in, it didn't take to chisel a bunch of stuff out. So it's going to go in there. So I need to drill some holes um, for the, the bolts, which I'll show you in a minute. Right. And this is level, I think. I've got to make sure I put this sort of a lock nut in here so I can get to it. I don't want it back there. So in addition to the sort of the bracket, this is what also comes with it. There's obviously the main post. It's like a little cup cap thing. This sort of sits over there, holds all that, hides all that. You've got the main, the main spout. Then you've got the supply lines that run through that pipe. And then this is sort of the handle. I don't have the handle. And then these are the back, the bolts. I need to figure out how to do these. Drill, and then tighten, and then it'll split up and secure the base. I should show you something. So obviously, when I did the plumbing, can you see that? Oh, I think you can, sorry. I'm going to try and get those up somehow. I did tie a wire to them, so I'm going to try and attempt to pull those back up now. So after fishing for a few minutes, I couldn't get it, but then I realized I've got this whole freaking gap that um, I've got the pipes, so I can actually just lift them up. <laughs> oh, you're funny, you're funny. So if I could, let's see if this works. Oh, come on. So this is the, the tub filler. And it, Bottom there, you can sort of see an H and a C, maybe. Yep, hot and cold. And so we're just going to attach the supply lines to this. This is according to the directions. A little bit different from the some of the YouTube videos. And it just says hand tighten. The trouble is, there's no markings on these. I'm going to, have to put some tape just on one of these to know which one's the hot. Because I want to obviously connect to the to the red one down there. So let's just do hot first. Okay, hand tightened. I'm going to put a marking on the bottom one for the, for the H. Hot. Give me some tape. Permanent mark would be better. Just a 
bottom one, which is the top. Attaching them to the uh, incoming water. Alright, so I'm gonna put this up. Alright, so those have been attached to the supply lines. Hot going to hot, cold going to cold. I'm just wondering if I should do a test first. I'm always into testing just to make sure before you permanently attach everything. I think I'd attach the handle though, or else I was going to put it So I'm going to set this up and I'm actually going to just do a test to make sure there's no leaks. This is going to be a real time test that you, you know it's just temporary uh, you have to see this in real time so if it messes up you'll see it i'm going to turn on the cold <laughs> if you've seen this and then it worked i'm going to turn this on slowly I don't know if it's going to come out of here. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's turn on the... Okay. Him shooting out of here. I'm checking for leaks, so I'm gonna have to. Okay, let's try. Let me turn the cold off. Drain it. Turn on the hot. This back is getting heavy. So I did the water checks, they're fine. Uh, I screwed this on. You gotta turn this on. I don't know if you saw me having trouble turning this on. I actually had this locked up so it wouldn't go in. So that's gonna screw in there. It's probably gotta be pretty tight, right? 
It's not going anywhere. All right, bye-bye. Don't want to see you again. If I see you again, it means I've messed up. So I do not want to see you again. All right, beautiful. And then I've got to put these in. And I've got to screw them. So I've got to then find a socket maybe. that will take care of that. So I've got my little socket here. So these are going to drop in there, right? And then I've got to tie it. Oh, that's doable. Except I've lost one. Where's the other one? I lose shit all the time. I seriously do. I spend half the project looking for stuff. So I don't know if you could see, but you know, because of my decision not to go through the floor, I'm regretting it now because obviously it would have given it extra stability. It's gonna be fine, not worry about stability, but I just can't screw this on because the, the screw heads are popping up. I could cut them, that's a waste of time. Could find another bit that doesn't have the a longer socket thing. There's some little things that just add stupid time to projects, you know? finding stuff that someone else misplaced and then these little nuanced things that are frustrating. I'm gonna see if I can find a different socket. So don't laugh. I couldn't find a, another socket that was deep enough. So I ended up just cutting off the bit of that. I know, problem solving. All right, take two. So that's the, uh, the tub filler installed. Probably spent longer looking for sockets and screws and stuff than actually to install it. Uh, the water's off. I'm gonna turn the water back on. So the water's on. And then I'm going to... remember which position this was. So I'm going to leave that in there. Oh, the handle thing was going, so I'm going to turn this up. So up. So hot and cold. Or cold and hot. Done. So it's very secure. So I just gotta leave it. I mean, it's just a process now of this is done. If it's gonna leak, it's gonna leak now. And I can sort of see in here, can't hear drips, but except that drip. So the next step is putting the tub in at some point soon. That's right, that wasn't too hard actually. I, I mean, it's finicky and you gotta do bits and pieces, but. Yeah, take your time. I'm happy with that.